the thing that we're trying to do whenever we're using the technology is to use it in a way where it's not the focus of the children's work. And so by being outside, the kids are able to use it in a more limited way. So always with a very specific thing to do uh, and always uh, for a limited amount of time. And the desks enable us to do that. I'm Michelle Martin, a teacher of fourth and fifth graders at Prairie Creek Community School. Prairie Creek is a public charter school and we have 180 students in five grades. We look at an activity and we say, is technology the best way to deliver this? For a lot of things like a math game or um, a science experiment, the best way to do something is using your hands and your brain and your body. We do that more often, but then there are some things that we can't do, like we were using Google Earth the other day to look at latitude and longitude, and that's much better done on Google Earth than it might be uh, trying to, to use a globe or something like that. We had been told that because of COVID, we needed to be at least six feet apart at all times. And we also knew that outside was gonna be the place that we wanted to teach the most often. I would need a place to anchor the children. And so I talked to Matt Eastfold, who is a furniture designer, and I came up with this very clunky stool idea that I sketched out. And then I took that to Matt. He stepped up as soon as I said, I have this idea, can you help? And he did. It came on as a, a whirlwind. Design goals for the desk were that it needed to be lightweight. It needed to have a handle so kids could move it around. It needed to be durable. And it needed to be something that was inexpensive enough that we could make 180 of them. We came up with the design on Baltic Birch. We're able to cut it out on our computerized numeric cutter. And there's six parts. Anybody can put it together with some wood glue and two screws. Mm -hmm. And I think we nailed it. All of a sudden, in, within three weeks, we had 180 built. We are both not only business owners, but active community members. I was hoping that we'd be able to have a way that we could help schools be successful. I mean, I think our ultimate goal is that we're focusing on the child and what they need. We can't forget about the fact that our kids are going through something really big right along with us. We just gotta do mm -hmm. what we can. We made 180 desks. It was uh, about 150 hours of volunteer time that did it. Alumni, grandparents, parents, and community members, we sanded everything and slotted everything together. It was a beautiful project for our whole community to work on. Well, we know that no child learns best when they are anchored uh, and just like sitting completely still. They find the place that their body needs when they're learning their best. And what we did is we used these stools to kind of as the catalyst to say, how could we do it differently? I think what it enabled us to do actually is untether from the screens. And so when we're at school, we're trying to utilize the outdoors and everything that's going on out here. Backing up from any content and saying, what's the best way for the kids to engage with this would be one thing that this has really taught us. Instead of mourning what we've lost during COVID, it's enabled us to open up new possibilities. And that's um, been really transformative for us. <laughs>